Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate this liquid text animation in After Effects without using any plugin. So let's start. So first of all, we are going to add a solid layer. Let's keep it black and maybe increase the resolution a bit, slightly more than the composition resolution. Now after that, we are going to rename it as particle. Alright, now go to FX and presets panel and type in particle playground. So we are going to apply this particle playground effect on this layer. So we are going to change few settings over here. So the first thing we are going to change is the direction. So let's give the direction of around 78. Particle per second of around 500. The direction random spread of around 360. Velocity of around 50. The velocity random spread of around, let's keep it something like this and I'm going to increase the particle radius to around 20. Now after that, we're going to change few settings in gravity. So let's change the force. Let's keep it this one for now and I'm going to change the direction for now. Let's keep it around 65. All right, so let's check it. All right, so now I'm going to change the position or uh, in the cannon. Let's put it somewhere around here outside the composition window at this corner. Now let's check it. Maybe we can keep it a bit above like this. All right, so this one is better. So now we are going to add a text. Let's add a text. Let's type in letter A. Now let's move the anchor point, put it somewhere around here at exactly at the center and let's align it. Now after that, I'm going to use the text layer as an alpha mat. So it is going to look somewhat like this now. So after that, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. Let's rename it effects. So we are going to add few effects on this layer. The first one we are going to add over here is Caution Blur. Caution Blur Legacy. Let's apply it and let's increase the blurness to about 50. After that, we're going to add another effect called Matte Joker. So this time, we're going to change few settings. Let's give the choke one to around minus 25. Decrease the softness one to completely zero. So, this is going to look somewhat like this. So you can already get that liquid effect. Let's give the softness of around, softness 2 of around 0 0.1 maybe. Alright, so we can go with this one. So we are going to keep this liquid effect animation for around 6 seconds. So it is starting from somewhere around here. So let's add a marker at this point. For that press start in the keyboard. And after that let's jump on to 10 seconds. So at this point we are going to start this ending animation 
this liquid effect flowing and animation. So click on this layer. We are going to put a keyframe on particle per second and the particle radius. Press U to open the properties with keyframes and then we are going to jump on to next 22 frames around and we are going to give both of it 0 and 0. Let's easy is the keyframes. Let's check out now. All right. Okay, now we are going to add an ellipse over here. So let's keep the color same for now because we can always add fill effect to whole composition and make any color we want. So for now we are going to keep it same, this red color. So we are going to put this ellipse over here. Now we're going to open the scale property, put a keyframe, open position, put a keyframe. Now after that, we're going to jump on to next 20 frames and we're going to move it somewhere around here, maybe increase the scale a bit. And at this point, I'm going to decrease the scale as well. And after that, let's jump on to next 20 frames again. And we're going to move it towards this end. Maybe decrease the scale. And also I want to increase this position as well. And I'm going to make this motion path a bit curved like this. So let's select the keyframes easy as 8. We are going to select the in between keyframe, press and hold the control key and double click it to convert it to rowing keyframe. So you can see this effect over here. Now after that we are going to add loop expression. Now after that we are going to start the animation from the point this A liquid effect is starting somewhere around here. So the first touch would be around over here. All right, let's check it. All right, let's add the scale pro the loop expression in scale as well. And let's check it out. Maybe it would be better if we decrease the scale at this point a little bit more. And at this point, let's give it 20%. Alright, now after that, we are going to duplicate these layers. So let's Name this circle 1. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. And we are going to just offset it a bit. Duplicate this one again. Offset it a bit. Duplicate this one again. Offset it a bit. Now again we are going to trim these layers from the start. So that this animations from this particular points only. So after that. I would like to change or vary the motion path a bit. Maybe it is crossing this line and then touching this point. For this one, we can even change the start point to somewhere around here. 
So let's check it now. So we are going to duplicate this layer one more time, all this layer together and let's place it over here and we are going to offset it from here. So this is our in particle animation. Now after that, from this point onwards where the animation is ending, we are going to make this circle actually disappear. So let's select the particles and trim it from end. Those particles that has already crossed the boundary of this letter. So also this one which is actually starting. Now we are going to make those particles play for once once they are inside the screen but the other ones such as this one let's lock this layers to properly select it so we're going to trim these layers as well now after that this one So let's check out our animation. Alright, so in the similar manner, you can also animate the particles that is coming out from the letter A. So the process is pretty similar and after that you can pre-comb the whole, all the layers together and just offset it by few frames and you can get some effect like this. So that is how you can create a liquid text animation in After Effects. So that is it for this lesson. I would highly recommend you to try it on your own and if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section below. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.